Seattle, Tacoma, Tacoma, Seattle. The I-5 brethren go toe-to-toe -to -toe tonight on At The Game, fueled by G-Series. Franklin looks to build upon the foundation laid out by some of the greats. Jason Terry. Trent Johnson. Aaron Brooks and Peyton Siva. The Quakers are off to a flying start. And so are their counterparts, the Lincoln A's. The A's have championship banners of their own and are legitimate contenders this season. The City of Destiny invades the Emerald City next on Max Preps. holidays out there everybody and welcome to the final edition of at the game fueled by G series here in Washington State for 2011 I'm Casey Littlejohn in Seattle Washington out at Franklin High School for the Tournament of Champions Holiday Classic we got a great matchup tonight a north-south affair it's the Franklin Quakers representing for Seattle in the 206 against the Lincoln Abes rep in Tacoma and the 253 now Franklin comes in with a number six ranking in the state and a perfect 6-0 record. Lincoln, right there with them in the 3A class, ranked at number eight with a 5-1 mark. Now before we get to the action, let's take a look at our players to watch for. Andrew Hawkins, the six foot four inch senior wing, can score from the outside for the Quakers or take it to the rim. Hawkins averaged 15 points, six rebounds per game last season. Now an experienced veteran for his Abe squad. Barsh plays with the length we see used a lot by Lorenzo Romar Husky teams to cause turnovers. Barsh was named to the Tacoma News Tribune All Narrows League preseason team. And it's Lincoln starting on the glass early. Treshawn Lexing goes up and wants it more than anybody else. Franklin causes the steal and it's Errol Hennings with the one-handed bounce pass up ahead to Cody Russell. Lexing finds Isaac Barsh along the baseline. And then Barsh running the floor to Sashawn Moore Jr. The Apes, the more effective team early on, getting on the board. Number 44, Latravian Satterwhite. Andrew Hawkins for Franklin makes the moves. And scores on the backside. Lexing pulling up. Nothing but nylon, 14 to eight. Now for Franklin, it's Patrick Ball, the junior, going coast to coast. And towards the end of the first quarter, Errol Hennings ties things up with the land. Final seconds of the first quarter ticking off now, and it's Derek Holiday. What?
Rayshon showing what he can do, bringing the ball up the floor. Dishes it to number 22, Armand Davis. And here's Trayshawn Lexing again, on top of his game in December. And it's Lexing with the full court outlet pass to Joshua Eckwood. And then the Apes ratchet up the defense. It's Quadell Satterwhite. Gets to the rack. But once again, I didn't see the final stats, but this game came down to the rebounding. Lincoln just all over it as Lexing puts it back in. But Franklin hanging around and number two, Errol Hennings with a gorgeous drive to the basket. Take another look at that one. And then for Lincoln, Isaac Barsh all over this pass. That's an easy two. Now ball gets slung over to Barsh, he planks the dunk. Sets up Franklin on the fast break, Darnell Berry. Lincoln star Trayshawn Lexing shared his during game ritual. All right, my name is Trayshawn Lexing, Lincoln High School. During the game at the free throw line, I make sure I wipe my hands and get off the sweat off the ball. Make sure to check out signatures from athletes all over the country at maxpreps.com slash signatures. Patrick Ball for Franklin showing some nice body control. Now for the Quakers, it's Hawkins behind the strike. Nice play set up here by Leakin. And it's Derek Holiday getting to the basket. But an entertaining game for the fans. We're right back down to the other end. It's Ball. He wanted the foul too, gets the basket. And it's Hennings with the pump fake to bring Franklin within 46-38. When the Abes needed an answer, Holiday was there. Hennings willing himself to the rim. And then it's Patrick Ball again with a nice bacon drive. Ball feeling the hot hand, takes it again. Crucial call goes against the Quakers. It's a charge picked up by Derek Holiday. But Franklin still trying to fight back, and it's number four, the junior Kevin Grigsby with the three. Fourth quarter action, it's Hawkins driving the baseline, basket in the foul, three point play makes it 62-57 Lincoln. And then Hennings pulls up, gets the bounce. Lincoln needing to maintain and it's the backdoor cut for Sashawn Moore Jr. And then it's Trayshawn Lexing and Holiday, causing some Holiday mischief. Moore, again for Lincoln, hits the jumper. Franklin coming right back at it though. It's Patrick Ball, 68-63 Lincoln. The Quakers with some frantic pressure. Lincoln gets the ball up court. And it falls to Sean Moore Jr. So it's time for Patrick Ball to rise up once again. What a second half for this guy. Falling away, hits the three. So it comes down to this, six seconds to go. 73-71. Hennings brings it up court, gets off the shot, but it's blocked by number 32, Claudel Satterwhite. Lincoln holds off the rally and defeats Franklin 73-71 at the Tournament of Champions. After the game, I talked to Lincoln Abe standout, Isaac Barsh. It was real fun because we're from Tacoma, you know, we come out here to Seattle. It's, it's, it's a battle every time we come out here, basically. We played him in fall league and lost by like 30. So we came back here and just beat him felt good. It's big out here, like, it's Lincoln, the 253 team in Seattle, it's Franklin, Brandon Beach and all them, so we got people come out here ready to play. While well, he was looking at me, I got an offer from Cal Poly so far, and the University of Portland's looking at me real nice. So the Lincoln Abes come up to Seattle and get the big win over the Franklin Quakers. 73 to 71 tonight. We want to thank you for joining us all season long on At the Game, fueled by G Series.